behind the scenes. Follow that bottle. Hi, I'm Blair Rainsford, an editor at Scholastic News. For an article I wrote, I got to learn a lot about recycling. Every day, we put bottles, cans, and paper in the recycling bin. But then what? I wanted to find out what happens to our recyclables after the trucks drive away. I started by doing research. I read articles and took notes. I watched videos. I interviewed an expert. I also got to do something extra cool. I got to go to a real recycling center. Come with me to see what happens to our bottles and cans once we send them on their way. Hi again, I'm here at the Sims Recycling Facility in New York City. Trucks and boats bring recyclables from all over New York City right here. Millions of pounds of plastic, metal, and glass are dumped here every single day. But what happens next? Let's find out. Here we are on the tipping floor. This room is huge. And I have to be honest, it's a little stinky. Enormous cranes scoop up recyclables from barges and drop them into giant piles. Then, a front loader pushes everything together to make room for even more recyclables. There's one big pile for glass, metal, and plastic, and another pile for paper. Paper goes off somewhere else to be recycled. But all the glass, metal, and plastic get sorted right here at Sims. Time to start sorting. The front loaders scoop up the bags and drop them onto a thick moving band called a conveyor belt. The conveyor belt carries everything into the sorting room. The sorting room is like a maze of machines and conveyor belts. The machines separate out the recyclables and send them on different paths, depending on what they are made of. Whoa, it's loud in here. What? The first machine is the shredder. The shredder tears open any plastic bags and dumps out all the recyclables. Next, the recyclables go over a rack of spinning metal wheels. The metal and plastic pass over the wheels, but all the glass gets broken and falls down onto another conveyor belt. This long, long belt sends the glass away to get crushed into smaller pieces. Meanwhile, the rest of the recyclables go through my favorite machine, a giant spinning magnet. Metal objects stick to the magnet, but plastic objects don't. The magnet picks up the metal and drops it onto another belt, leaving the plastic behind. The plastic is all sent under a special camera. The camera can tell if the recyclables are made of heavy plastic or light plastic. Then another machine shoots jets of air at them to blow them into separate bins. The recyclables go through a few more sorting machines. They go by people, too. They are called inspectors. The inspectors pull out anything that isn't supposed to be there. Sometimes they find some really weird things, like bowling balls, trophies, and wigs. Hey look, a basketball! Finally, the recyclables are all sorted. The glass is all crushed up into tiny pellets. The metal and plastic recyclables get squashed into huge cubes. Each cube weighs a thousand pounds. The plastic, metal, and glass get shipped off to factories all over the world. The factories turn them into new things like cars, frisbees, or playground equipment. So that's the story of what happens to the things we recycle. That plastic bottle you recycled might get turned into a coat, a carpet, or even another plastic bottle. 
So who knows, you might see your bottle again after all. What are some other places you'd like to learn about? Let me know. Maybe one of them could be the topic of a future Scholastic News.